and gentlemen, well y'all, I love tacos from the taco truck and I'm real fortunate around my house probably within five, ten minutes I have about two dozen taco trucks, not kidding you, that or taquerias or whatever, but I love them so, you know, I visit these places often, but today I'm going to make my own tacos here at the house and they're going to be my, they're my version of the taco truck taco. Now the beauty of the taco truck taco is you just use any type of meat you like. If you got shrimp, use it. If you got pork, use it. Beef, chicken, same thing. And you get to season it any way you want. Most of the taco trucks, they don't pre-season the meat or marinate it. Well, they might. It depends on the taco truck. But a lot of them, they just cut up like the chicken breast and they season it a little bit. It's all the stuff they put in the taco that makes it real flavorful. But today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my nil guy, which is ground meat, Normally I just use a flank steak or something or a chicken breast. Well, like I said, whatever you got. And I'm going to take that nil guy, ground meat, and I'm going to marinate it. Sort of marinate it. I'm going to season it up this morning. It's going to be like, it's it's 9.30 right now. So about 1, 2 o'clock this afternoon when I cook my tacos, you know, all the flavors I add to the meat will absorb into it. And it's going to make my tacos taste that much better. Okay, first thing you want to do is get your redneck Tupperware right here. And then put in your ground meat. Now you don't have to eat, like I said, you don't have to use ground meat. You can use shrimp, whatever the heck you want. And you don't even have to do this process. You can just cook it. That's salt, y'all. I'm going to add some salt. And I'm going to add a whole lot of pepper. Then we're going to go with the garlic, garlic powder. Got some onion powder. Whoa. And go back a little more garlic powder. And then I'm going to add some MSG. Alright, that ought to do good. Then we're going to mix all this together. And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. Okay, that's all well mixed. And that's it. Until this afternoon. Okay, y'all. To make taco truck tacos, you have to have some condiments to go with it. Cholula right there, guaranteed. Or some of this green sauce. But the deal is, what you need is to make some pico de gallo too. Most people just take jalapenos, cut them up. But I'm going to use these. I grow these peppers in my backyard. They're chili pekins. These things are firecracker, man. They are hot. I'm going to dice those up. Some onion, tomato, cilantro. Going to mix that together, add a little salt, pepper to it, and that's going to be on top of the meat when I brown the meat. Y'all, I almost forgot. I almost forgot my peppers. I'm gonna add just a shot of olive oil to this. Just a little bit. And then add some pepper. Shot of salt. Alright, let's open up this. One thing y'all was cooking with wild game. Is there's hardly any, I don't know if y'all can see that, there's just no fat. Not that I care, because I like the fat. I especially like beef fat, but, you know, if you're all worried about the fat content, no wild game. It's always real lean meat. I've already tasted this, guys. It's, it's pretty damn awesome. You want to use two of these, not just one, use two, because they always break. Get your meat in there. You want to get a good helping of liquid fire right there. Oh, man. And you add some Cholula.
Okay, you may not see me tomorrow. <laughs> There's number two. It's pretty simple. Put some meat in your taco. Pico de gallo here. Now I'm going to give a shot of this green Cajun sauce this time. Oh, yeah. It helps if you have a little plate like this, this little Pyrex thing. It works just fantastic for holding your tacos. I got the whole system down. Okay, y'all, got three tacos made. And they actually look pretty damn good. Okay, y'all, it's time for that taste test. Here we go. Mmm. Taco trucks in my future. Oh, heat's coming on, and that meat's taking up all those seasonings I put in it. This is really, believe it or not, is one of the best tacos I've ever had. Mmm, awesome. Y'all need to try that out. It's real simple. I probably should have put a little bit of cheese on here, but I'm not a big cheese guy, so that's why I didn't put the cheese. Like I said, you make taco, do whatever the hell you want. Alright guys, I'm going to go eat my lunch and I appreciate you watching.